Thanks. Well, you know, it is heating up here in the Midlands and with sports and camps just around the corner, it's important to know how to stay heat safety aware. Absolutely. Joining us is health and safety chief uh, Albert Owusu with the Columbia Richland Fire Department. Thank you so much for being here, Chief Owusu. I really appreciate it. Uh, with summer sports and camps getting close, as we just mentioned, we know that the temperatures are going to be rising. What's something that parents can do to keep their kids safe and making sure that they're not like falling out in the heat? Well, it's very important to remember to stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. So parents should make sure their children are drinking water, even when they think they don't need water. Yeah. So I always tell our firefighters, drink even when you feel you're not thirsty, and that will keep them well hydrated. Also, um, if they're going to be out in the sun, um, make sure they're wearing light clothing, preferably cotton. Mm -hmm. um, stay in the shade as much as possible, and if possible, move all um, outdoor activities to late evenings or early mornings and that will help keep children safer. Good advice there. Yeah, one thing about especially keeping kids safe uh, during the summer months, the CDC putting out advisories, especially as it relates to heat related deaths in hot cars. We had a tragic case here locally. A three year old died because of exposure in a hot vehicle. So what can parents do really to kind of keep their guard up and make sure that something like that doesn't happen? Well, it's always, a parent should always try to remember that they have children in the car. Never leave a child in the car unattended, even for a brief period. Sometimes there's a temptation to run out to the store and so on. But um, remember one phrase, look before you lock. Mm -hmm. Look in the vehicle, look in the back, always, because sometimes you forget that you have children with you. So just always check the car before you lock it and leave. Uh, I want to talk more about uh, the dehydration factor that you mentioned. What are some signs that you're getting dehydrated? And if you are getting to that point, what should you do? So in the early stages, you're going to feel thirsty, um, a bit tired. Um, uh, as it gets worse, you'll feel nauseous, dizzy. So when you start feeling that, you want to immediately get yourself to a shaded area, um, preferably into a cooler environment such as a, a room, um, get some uh, water to drink, um, use cool cloth to kind of dab on your skin and that helps the body to cool down. Mm -hmm. um, so if it gets to the point where after about an hour the person is not getting better, the temperature is still rising and they're still feeling these symptoms, call 911. Yeah. Yeah. Now if the person has experienced what we call They've gone past the dehydration stage, the early stages, and they're going into what we call um, heat stroke phase. You want to immediately call 911, and the symptoms for that is they will have um, hot, uh, cool, clammy skin. They will have um, uh, <coughs> episodes of fainting, and they may even start vomiting. Mm. And you want to immediately call 911, get them into a cool area in the shade, um, and just dab their skins with um, skin with moist cloth as well. Yeah, very at that important. point you don't want to give them anything by mouth. Got okay, it. good yeah. to know. Good to know. Uh, also, house fires this time of year, they're difficult to fight pretty much all year round. But in the summer months, especially the risk of exposure for your crews that are heading out onto the scene, mm -hmm. it's pretty substantial. So what do you all do to make sure that firefighters in the summer months are staying cool? Well, with firefighters, the preparation to withstand the heat does not start in the spring nor in the summer. Mm -hmm. It starts pretty early on. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have three things in place. We, have, um, we, we tell firefighters to keep fit and to make sure they're well hydrated at all times. And also to ensure that when they come to work that they stay uh, hydrated. Um, Hydration starts at home and continues throughout the day. And so one thing we ensure is that during, fire, our firefighters train a lot. And so during the hot months, we move all the training to the late hours in the evening or very, very early in the morning. Um, during the day, aside from responding to emergency calls, we try to keep most of our training indoors. And so the, the, the main things are stay hydrated, drink even when they're not thinking of thirst and stay fit. 
All right, Chief Owoso, thank you so much. Thank you for what you and the entire team do to keep us safe. And thank you for educating us. Really good points that you made today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. You bet. You bet. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this.